Welcome everyone. Here's a interesting piece of sacred wood. You know, a lot of people burn sage and other things uh, to kind of clear their house out. It's not a bad idea, but sage is very weak. We do offer many kind of incenses, which are very powerful ground up herbs and bamboo wood together that you burn and then you are able to um, bring around to your, uh, your different rooms. And we do recommend that everybody kind of get one of these things too. I guess I'll show this now. I'm going to show this of how incense is, how our incense is used in the near future. But having a little cauldron like this, and this is a tiny one. Uh, let's give you a little perspective here. Here's a, a ruler with some inches on it. So from here to uh, there, it's about five inches. So uh, it is able to, uh, it's handy. But sage is very weak, even though uh, it's always nice to sage your house a little bit, especially after you've had guests or if you're having problems. Always a good idea, but it's very weak. Uh, you're better off using uh, one of our incense. But here's another thing that is very traditional in um, uh, in um, the um, basic clearing done by uh, Santeria practitioners, Latin American priests, etc. And that's the um, Paldo Santo wood. Paldo Santo wood is uh, another of our favorite energy cleansing tool. Pato Santo means holy wood in Spanish. This sacred wood comes from the Palo Santo trees of South America. When it's burned, the smoke is believed to provide medicinal therapeutic healing energy. So this gives you a great healing energy field. Its calming and, and relaxing aroma is incredible, standing among the greatest of the world's fragrant woods. Because of the extraordinary blessing it bestows upon those who have the good fortune to use it, this wood has touched the hearts and minds of countless people. So we don't sell this right now, but we may, who knows, it all depends whether we can get proper supplies, but you can find this, I'm sure, online somewhere. Just punch in uh, Palo Santo wood. And it does have a beautiful fragrance to it when it's burned. And what you do is you kind of burn it a little. You, know, you can take little pieces off and burn it. And we'll probably demonstrate this in the future. Or you uh, uh, um, and put it in a little pot like this. Take a piece of it, start, uh, burn it, or light it. Then drop it in your little pot here. Let's get a better view here. And you can let that burn kind of like its own incense. And of course, make sure you're using good pot. These kind of pots are really nice. They have a wood handle so it doesn't get hot. You've got a um, wrought iron holder and, of course, a top so there's not a problems with things falling in it. And that means you can hold it like this and carry it around room to room, put it in certain areas. And as you said, I'm going to demonstrate that in the future. But right now, this is an interesting... And this looks just like... Uh, um, you know, it's just raw wood. It, it has been dried, obviously, so that it's nice and hard. But this is just wood that you're going to light, and it does put out a great fragrance. So here's another one of those rarely known things. Um, Palo Santo wood. Check it out. 